Well, good morning. It's Friday morning. First of all, let me invite you to church on Sunday. We Amen. have a good church service and great praise and worship. And uh, We have children's church, uh, children's ministry, ministry and yep. church. They do a great We'd job. We'd love for you there. to bring your children and grandchildren. Yep. Amen. 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 Hey, uh, today the title, I told Pastor Marshall I wanted to change the title we'd written down here. Uh, the title of, of the devotion this morning is just two words, too busy. T-O-O, busy, too busy. And the scripture in Mark 4, 19 says, But they allow the cares of this life and the seduction of wealth and desire of other things to crowd out and choke the word so that it produces nothing. You know, there's a lot of good things, honey, in our lives that really crowd out the very best things, you know, okay. the things mm -hmm. of God, you know, yeah, and, and we fill our lives. It seems like, it seems like we're almost afraid to just have some quiet time to stop. You know, mm -hmm. we just fill it up with everything. I and see people, right. they, they go, they go, they go, well, they go. You know, and when you have responsibilities to other people and uh, you, you find yourself, uh, on, uh, with the calendar and schedule of everything that's going on, yeah. and you just overdo it. Yes, they do. You can even overdo it with church things. Oh, don't want to hear that, <laughs> do you? No but, way. But, but you can. <laughs> having, having to be at church all the time, you know, yeah. that that we have to be sensitive to we that do, in we people's do. families uh, yeah. and things. Because we can overschedule, can't we? Somebody asked me the other day if I had a bed up here. Yeah. Because <laughs> I right. was scared of that. Hey, yeah. you know, uh, I like this statement you wrote down here. It says, we've become a nation of maintenance people. We maintain everything. That's right. You know, we maintain our job. We maintain our family. We maintain our home, our car, our yards, our hair, fingernails. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everything. Uh, I mean, there's just so many things, right. so many things that keep us busy. Well, and and like like you said, they're not bad. No. Nope. But then, if we're going to do those things, we still have to in our calendar find time for our Lord Jesus Christ. Yep. So we so we can spend that time to maintain our own spiritual health, and that's just uh, that's more important probably than anything we're doing physically. Don't yes, you think? Yes, it is. Yes. Because if our spiritual life is going down, so will our physical life. Yeah. It will. It affects it, and that that's why people that don't know Jesus. Don't under. They're under stress all the time. Yeah. They're they're beat up. They don't care. Uh, they don't know. Think anybody cares about them. We. But you know what? When you maintain your spiritual life with God, you realize He loves you and He cares about you and He cares about everything you're involved in. Yeah. And I think that's been, a Mark four is a great description of that. Allow the cares of this life. You know, Second uh, Timothy two there talks about the distractions of the mm -hmm. world. You know, mm -hmm. and everything is meant to pull us away from right. uh, that time that we have with you. You know, uh, we were talking the other day that on Facebook I had this girl get on to me about something I put on there because I was saying we can go to. Um, we can go to our grocery stores. We can go to all kinds of, do all these different things. We can go to sporting events, but we can't come back to church. Yeah. And this girl got really offended because I said that. You're saying, she said I was like I was judging them. And I says, no, I'm not judging, but I'm saying if we can do all these other things. Why can't we go to church? Why can't we go to church? Yeah. And I was trying to say, you can't maintain everything about yourself spiritually without the fellowship of other believers. That's exactly right. And we have to come back to the church. Our church has been meeting since last May. Yeah, I don't know. And, and we haven't missed, missed a lick. And I had another friend put on Facebook how so many of our Rhema churches that we're involved with, they've lost so many people and nobody, and these people are not coming back, but they're not adding to their churches. Yeah. And I have to say, God is adding to our church every week. Yeah, yeah. And I praise God for that. It's not all the, the reason it's happening is because we're just allowing the Holy Spirit to have yeah. His way in our Amen. services. And the Word is getting out. Amen. Amen. And I that's see. what has to be done to maintain your spirituality. But this young girl had gotten hurt evidently in church somewhere, and she didn't want any part of the church. And she used this format to come back at me about yeah. it. And so we just have to... 
continue to love and pray for people. That, good that good come people. Good, good people, people. Even good Christians Amen. getting entangled. Paul says getting entangled with the affairs of life or the things of life mm-hmm. and becoming so earthly minded that we're not involved we're not, spiritually. We're not, not thinking about yeah. heaven. We're yeah. not thinking about what's yeah. coming later. And you know, if, one, if church doesn't do one thing, it does this right here, Marcia. It helps you to focus for that period of time on God's word. You know, if I would, I would then come back and ask a person, how much time do you spend reading the word or listening to the word? You know, mm-hmm. because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The opposite actually works in reverse That's too. Good. That That's you true. begin to lose out spiritually your faith, your confidence, your trust in God because you're not hearing that on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. You can, you can down church all you want, but let me tell you something. It should be a place where you hear the word of God. And at least for one time a week or two times a week, you should be put yourself in a place where you hear the word. Mm-hmm. Hear the word. That'll grow your faith. Amen. Amen. Well, we love you. We appreciate Hope each one. Sunday. Yes, come Sunday and grow your faith. Amen. God bless. Have a blessed week.